Hey, what's going on, adventurers? It's me, Orlando Hi. Mike, from <laughs> Adventures of Mike and Steph. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm kind of at a loss for words right now because we are here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail for their Christmas event, Sir Henry's Haunted Christmas, and I cannot be more excited. I'm here with my friend Liz and a couple of my other friends here tonight. It's gonna be a night full of chills, thrills, and hopefully a couple of kills. He mainly wants to see me get scared. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason I brought her. I'm kidding, it's because she's my bestie. Yeah. Yeah, anyone who knows me loves, knows I love horror, but I don't like I don't like being scared. Oh, so this is gonna be doubly fun for me. D yeah. And also, I may have mentioned this already. The channel's first ever media event. So exciting. Yay! Super thrilled. You know, insert fireworks here. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what this event has to offer. So let's go, let's do this. Yeah. Let the adventure begin. And who is here in line behind us but the freaks at HHN? You should know that. I mean, come on. We're, we're pretty much everywhere. If yeah. There's fog, we're there. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. See you in the fog. Yep. Freaks at HHN. Go check them out on YouTube and social media, guys. There are links in the description. Always great seeing you, buddy. Hey, guys. What's up? Can you all hear me? Yeah. What's up, guys? Hey, I'm Zach. I'm the owner of Sir Henry's on the Trail. Thank you, guys, for coming out tonight to our media. Probably so few of you guys coming in. Uh, we're gonna open the gates here in about 10 minutes or so. Um, we're gonna te uh, technically starts at 6 30, give or take. Uh, so, what we got for you guys tonight is two of our haunted trails re themed uh, for Christmas with some Christmas stories, uh, Krampus, Crazy North Pole Elves. It's gonna be a lot of fun, uh, a lot of scares, a lot of laughs. You're gonna see, see some wild costumes, wild costumes. Uh, there's no like VIP line or front line, so please use the uh, general admission line. You can go through as many times as you like. So guys, also we got Duff out here from HHN 365. If you don't know HHN 365, what are you doing with your life? So guys, go check them out on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and basically wherever you find podcasts. Big fan, good to see you, bro. Are you ready for the event? Oh God, yes. December, absolutely. Oh yeah. It doesn't get better than a Christmas haunt. No, it's, uh, you know, there's Valentine's Day. That's pretty crazy, too. You know? I'm ready for that one, too. You can do that one without me. I don't like Valentine's Day. And also, I might have plans. Well, Valentine's Day are for singles, too. Well, I might not be single. True. Yeah. Okay. HHN 365. Go check them out on YouTube, social media, podcasts. We're available. So, guys, Quackface out here. Looking awesome, celebrating Merry Quackmas, right? Merry Quackmas. There we go, Merry Quackmas. Man, I really wish Steph were here to see this because you guys all know Stephanie loves rubber ducks. She would probably love this and be scared at the same time. She'd be sitting in the This is for you, Steph. Merry Quackmas. Aww. That's for her. Oh! Thank you. That's awesome. That's so sweet. Thanks so much. The gates are open. The haunts are beginning. We're heading in. Oh are you ready, Liz? No. <laughs> She's a scaredy pants. Yes, I am. She's a little scaredy pants. Yes, I am. And I am not afraid to admit it. <laughs> oh, but it's going to be fun. See, y'all don't understand how much I love horror movies. I don't like being in them. That's my problem. Lord, we, we already got creatures out here. Oh, wow. Chainsaw wielding nutcracker and a dementia gingerbread man. Either way. But still. The, the, the mouth of the mouth of has to take the walk on stilts. Oh look, and the gingerbread man has a knife. How nice. Oh, hello. Now before we hit the trails, guys, we are gonna check out Krampus Cafe. This is where you pay to do the laser tag, escape room, the axe throwing, and this is also where you get some of the food offerings like the Krampus cookie, the chocolate covered pretzels, reindeer food, fuzz, rock candy, and of course, water. Always stock up on water, guys. That's very important. All right, guys. We just got our tickets for the escape room. At 7, uh, 7.45. Yeah. I'm really excited. I'm excited to see if we can rack our brains to see if we can actually escape. I, I am a bachelor. I have a bachelor's degree. I got this. In theater. You know what? You need to know measurements. You need to know math. You need to know how to do a whole bunch of other complicated stuff to do theater. 
So I think it's safe to say we're in good hands, guys. And then next to the Krampus Cafe, where you sign up to do all the specialty items in here. This is where you pick up all your awesome swag. Your t-shirts, hoodies, hats, tote bags. <laughs> Part of the earrings. Look guys, I just love that they have their own specialty candles here. They have one for sleigh bells. And then the Krampus cookies. I'm digging these socks too. Okay, so back here at this booth, which is next to the center display of the Krampus house, you have Sir Henry Spooky Eats where you're gonna get all your special holiday treats. And next to it, you have the Toy Store of Terror Escape Game. And Liz and I are gonna be doing that later. I'm really excited. You also have the gingerbread escape as well. Also, and then, I want me to say, like, the fact that they're able to get out two small sheds, it's very impressive. Because usually escape rooms, I don't know if y'all have done them, they're usually pretty big and moody. So these are going to be interesting to see how well they are. And of course, right over here, you have the entrance to Sleigh Bells, one of the mazes that are being offered. And in between the two mazes, you have Frosty's Laser Tag Combat. This is where the laser tag game is. Oh, and there's a little evil Hold snowman looking out here. What's it say? Trusty? Trusty was here. Is that your name? No. Trusty? Trusty. Frosty. Yeah. Frosty. Oh, look at, look at, check out the room. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. It's just a little bird. You know. Just a little, you know, you learn. Yeah, I got a little melted <laughs> at the South Pole. You must have a twin. You're at that party. And then finally, you have the entrance to Krampus Noct 2, which I'm really excited for that house because I love that movie Krampus. It literally terrifies me and thrills me every single time. So I'm really excited for that house. Liz, are you more excited for the Krampus house or for Sleigh Bells? Honestly, Sleigh Bells, because let me tell you, I've seen the Krampus movie. Don't get me wrong. It's entertaining, but it's not accurate to the actual folklore of what Krampus does to naughty children. Mommy, obviously. I keep looking over my shoulder. Oh, uh, it's so funny. This is, oh, it's this quite is funny gonna be. Me, like, all like, oh, yeah. It, it's hilarious. It's utterly hilarious. All right, guys. It's time for the first trail of the night. We are hitting up sleigh bells. Care to read it out, Liz? Um, okay, but you're going to have to bear with me. One's a place of happiness in. Merriment. Merriment. The North Pole has become a place of chaos and terror. As more and more children choose to stop believing in Santa Claus, the magic is being slowly drained away. Oh my god, this is so long. Mr. and Mrs. Claus have sunk into a dark depression and can't seem to find the motivation to get out of their cabin, leaving the North Pole to the elves who have become insensible? Insatiable. In insatiable. Insatiable with anger. Who does these who do these kids think they are? After all that Santa has done for them. Well, no more. The elves are taking revenge. Lumps of coal is just children's child's play compared to the plans these elves have. They are burning down the North Pole and taking all the non-believers with them. Will you survive the horror that now reigns in the North Pole? Oh, goody. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's go. I apologize for how long that took me to be. <laughs> Right. I just love the entrance way and I love the little windmill up there as well like honestly it's so cool like obviously it's not big or grandiose scale but it's still really cool just to see the amount of effort and time that they put into these facades all right we're going in guys I hope we're going the right way Oh, you got this, Liz. Look at it! Look at it! You really think he can run this place? No. Take a look around! It's a mess! Oh. I'm so sick of it! He's oh. like, look at it! Guys, there's a, there's a demented <laughs> elf in front of us. Yeah, but look at her ears! They look amazing! <laughs> They're amazing. Look at it. That's always a good one. The evil freaking reindeer back there. Sad reindeer. Oh. Yeah, isn't that cool? I used to do it at Scarewinds. Oh. 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 Oh.
Oh god. Oh god. Ah, that one got you. Oh, sorry. Oh, just a holiday scene. I have a cell phone. Oh, I need it. I take the one yeah, this ain't... Oh, no. These are Weeping Angels. Uh, this, this ain't Doctor Who. I don't care. They look like Weeping Angels. Liz, this ain't Doctor Who, okay? See, this is, this is scarier. Like they look like Weeping Angels. I don't know. I think we're, <laughs> oh I think we're just getting started, honestly. Huh? I think we're just getting started. Really? No, yeah, we're we're heading back. So Liz just ran ahead without me. She was like, oh my god. Oh my god. Chainsaw wielding elf. Chainsaw wielding elf. Oh god. I, I, I see why you ran ahead now. I see why you ran ahead. Yeah. Oh my god. I sped. Oh my god, we done? I I think so, nearly. Oh no, I think we got no, there's one more. I love your ass! God. <laughs> Jesus, that freaking scared me. <laughs> Pardon me for language, guys. Pardon for my language. But Jesus, that scared me. Oh my God, how much wrong? I'm dead, y'all. Everything's just stupid. Everything. Is, All of it. That's one, that's one angry elf. Everything is stupid. All of it. Santa is stupid and Christmas is stupid. Oh my God. All of it is just stupid. That was that was one raging elf. Evil gingerbread man. Evil gingerbread man with a knife. Oh, it's in the baby! Martha said she wanted to fight for Christmas. Who are you? Martha! Do I know what she's gonna get? What? Nothing! Martha's getting nothing! Boy, these elves are really unhappy. Well, you know what? They just don't believe anymore. The elves are riding! That's not my problem! It needs to be! Take control of your man! So oh apparently, God, so Mr. and Mrs. Claus having a bit of a disagreement. Yeah, I, I should have prefaced this with a language warning, guys. There is going to be some PG-13 language trying very in this. Hard, oh gosh, there's another elf. Oh, that's so cool! Look at the light. I know when you are sleeping, and I know when you are dead. I know when you've been bad and going to be dead for goodness. Woo! Oh. The demonic reindeer again. Okay, my no, my side is not going to have a high down. Why are we stopped? Hey, you got this. No, my side is down there. My. What the hell is this? Oh. oh. Oh, I say Rudolph got a makeover. No, you said that go to the dentist. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. No lie though, be honest, Liz. Was that not a really cool trail? That like, was, both that's but not it was awesome. so long. It was very, very long. Oh look a dummy. But see, that's honestly honestly, I'm kinda of digging this event because like you know, these are long trails. These are really long experiences. That took us what, a good like what, it's five it's or six it's minutes? Yeah. To get through? It felt like forever. That was, yo, that was awesome. I can't wait to go see the Krampus one. Oh my God. This is this is gonna I be don't so think cool. I do Krampus. All right, it looks like I'm going solo on Krampus then. Honestly one. though, I'm just loving the scale of this house facade. This I'll, I'll facade is literally huge. I'll ask them. I mean, Liz, what do you think that facade is? Probably a good 30 feet, if not more. Maybe about. 
Ooh, and I just love the creaky open doors. So that's. This is this is gonna be fun. I don't know. I might take it out. Oh, don't you dare! Y'all, look. Krampus is actually out here greeting us before we go into his haunted trail. How cool is that? Getting greeted by the man. All right, here we go, guys. My spoiled little brats! I tried to get them to change, but now they're going to get what they deserve. Oh, oh God. Okay, I can already tell. This one's gonna be a lot darker. It's right not here. my fault those kids are poor. Why should I be sorry for having money? Their parents should just get richer. Right? Right. Okay, and there was a warning. Nah, the nah. Ain't gotta get me crampers in any way you want. It's them kids, right? They're real bad. Oh God, what is that? What is that? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew that thing was gonna pop up in me. So apparently the children have been very bad this year. And now I'm in a very tight, confined library. Great. God. Oh, jeez. The creepy dead body there. All wrapped up in tinsel, so at least he's in the holiday spirit. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Eh. Eh. Creepy, evil snowman. Oh, God, it's still following me. Okay, now it's really dark again. I'm sorry, guys. Drop door. Just an empty bedroom. Oh god, now I'm going into a closet. A dark freaking closet. Oh god. This is really creepy. Oh my god! The creepy little Krampus elf scaring me. Oh great, now we're going underground. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I just got out of Grandma's and holy Jesus, that house was so scary. <laughs> you guys, if you are claustrophobic, I probably wouldn't recommend that house. Also, you have, if, if you have um, like epilepsy me. or seizures, I also don't recommend that house just because of the strobe lights. You guys, that one is so much scarier than sleigh bells. Sleigh bells, it's a little more open, a little more well lit. That one is just dark and confined and just, oh my god. I mean, what else could you expect from Krampus though? Let's be real. But I mean, overall, still a killer, killer trail, guys. Just absolutely amazing. I mean, again, like I said, real scary, real claustrophobic, but still highly recommend. Hey, Bonzo, highly, highly five. recommend. Oh, easy five. Oh, easy wow. five on that one. And for sleigh bells, I'd probably say easily Maybe, four and a half. Yeah, I'd say four and a half. But still, just like top notch, guys. Top notch. Oh, okay, y'all. I took over. I'm taking over my stream. He's you, gonna... you did not take over. But guys, we're about to meet the one and only Sir Henry. Man, I've been wanting to meet him for the longest. The blitz with focus. Sorry. 
Y'all, I've been wanting to meet Sir Henry for the longest time, so I'm super excited for this. Obviously, we're going to get pictures with him, and we're going to get pictures of him. This is... He talks. Oh, yeah, of course he talks. What on oh. He's Sir Henry. He has to talk. Good to finally meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Hello. Do you have a friend? Yes. Oh, what so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You you've done yourself. These you. these thrills you? are chilling to say the least. Do you like the holidays? You seem to like the holidays. I, I put the red bow tie on. That's about it. Maybe I need a Santa hat. I don't know. Just, just a little bit of like dead holly on there or something. Maybe I should dress in a full Santa suit. Oh, why don't you put some poison ivy on there? Uh, that, that would be a good Well, I mean, I don't have skin, so... Well, no, like, put it, no, put it on, like, on the brim of your hat? Yeah. Make, could, it, make it look like a wreath? That could work. That's cool. Poison Ivy, I think, throws more up, more up your yeah. alley. Um, did you guys do the trails? Yes. Oh, yeah. Love sleigh bells. Nice. Done it twice. Nice. Did Krampus once because it scared me. <laughs> so I don't think I can do it again. Oh, well, you gotta do it again. Honestly, yeah, I but think I'm gonna have to. I can't, I can't do it because of my anxiety. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, skate parks too. Don't forget about those. The what? Oh, yes. The skate parks. Oh, uh, yes, we're doing those next. Yes, but we have, have to, to get. Come meet you, sir. Nice, thank you. Thank you guys for coming. You want to get a selfie? Oh, of course. Yes. Okay, okay guys. So now we're going to wait in line to do both the escape rooms. We're going to do Gingerbread Escape first, and then we're going to go over to Toy Store of Terror. And then after that, it will be the three minutes. Okay. okay. We have three minutes. All right. So, oh, three hi. minutes, apparently. If they will play for me. Oh, okay, cool. Now it's time to pay up. You gotta bake their last batch of cookies in three minutes or less. But if you don't, it's all over for you. You're gonna be whacked. Okay, so we got three Okay, so that was just an in fact Where did we start? Okay. Hi, Jimmy, we were supposed to. Get it done. Whoa! Shit. Three orders done already. Oh Get it done. <laughs> Sorry, it's a child. Okay. Um, so obviously we need to find something that has probably something to do with that note. Uh, Wait. Look at this. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're supposed to have those three orders done. Y equals three. So we need to find something with the number three. Okay, um... Three, three, three what? I don't know, but I guess that helps us figure out what ingredients to use. Uh, I don't know if this has anything to do with it. We're not doing very good in this. When in doubt, always check everything. Nothing in there. So good. I wonder what's in here. Oh, wait, cookies. Cookies. Okay, five cookies. So. P. So what do we, we put the code? I think we're supposed to just memorize it. So, so far we have YP. YP. Play? I don't know. Oh, so like, it, like the number of I, the number of objects equals up to the letter, right? Yeah, I think. Okay, so six. L play. Play time, maybe. I bet it's play time. Wait, cupcakes. How many cupcakes do we have? Oh no, wait. Seven. Oh, yeah. No wait. I think I figured it out. Eight. What? So remember how one was P? Yeah. Peppermint. So. Oh, oh wait, wait, so this unlock, these unlock the, the oven? Did he unlock uh, the oven? Yes, yes here. Christmas okay, um... Okay, gumdrop. Now it's time to... Arsenic. 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 Good job, y'all. Hey, we did it. So glad y'all could enjoy. That was honestly really fun. Thank you for that. Such a theater kid. With, with nine seconds to spare, too. And, uh, 
Uh, Alright you guys, time to do Toy Store of Terror, which is the other escape yeah, game. Yeah, so this handle right here will be up when you leave, like, when you leave, and you just turn it the other way down, and you this order ahead of all. Alright, after the video starts playing, then there will be a three minute timer. Okay. Alright. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Oh, it smells better in here than the other one. I'm Alabaster Brown, head of corporate relations here at the North Pole. I just hope you guys are having a moment. Hold on, what is that? I think I'm getting repaged here. Oh, no. A disgruntled elf is using an evil, magical heart? Uh, you guys need to find out how to remove that heart from here. I think the killer toys are going to get you guys, but I think you only have three minutes. Good luck, guys. Okay. He said okay. The poem. First came the trumpeter, tooting his brassy horn. Then came the percussionist, drumming up a storm. Louder said the king on his way to the chair, and the swordsman beat him there only by a hair. Okay. Okay. So, so the trumpeter tooting his brassy horn. B. Okay. Trumpet. Then came the percussionist, drumming up a storm. Okay, so looking for something with a drum. Or anything with a drum. Yep. Uh. Is there anything with a drum? No, not anything with a drum just yet. Wait, P E R? What's P E R? I don't know. You can't see anything in here. Louder said the king on the way to his chair. Is there something with the chair? Is something on the back of the window? Something underneath it? Wait, I don't think that's the screen. No. Is there something underneath it? Okay, so, darn, what's the percussionist? What's the percussionist? Okay, uh, but the swordman beard be him there by a hair. Swordsman. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Um, I don't know. Hang on, what was the first one? Um, it's B. Okay, wait, B. Stab in the dark. I wonder if it's beat. Beat? Yeah. Try it. I'm checking everything for. This thing about beating heart. Did you get it? No. That's, that's not it. I know. And like, who's the percussionist? There's an. Horn? The full horn, maybe? No. Well, Y'all, we're not doing good on this one. No, we are not, unfortunately. Oh, e! B E! Okay. That's what I thought. Louder said the king on oh. his way to the chair. B E N! What? B-E-N. Oh no! Okay. Louder. So we're missing somebody. B-E-D. Bead. Bead. You think so? I'm out of action. That's unfortunate, y'all. So close. What? Can you tell us where we went wrong? I'm out. What were y'all trying to figure out? Um, we had that one, that one, and then the one on the shelf. Okay. And then I saw the D on that. So, I found that too. That's has amazing. nothing to do with it. Okay, guys. So the gingerbread escape, that one was really fun. It was, on, it was a little. Once we, once we had find the book, it's easy. We, I think we were way overthinking it. Yeah, we really were. Oh, and we got another. We got another. My friend is back apparently. Um, she, she's just making sure he's being nice to me. I am. I promise. I got the video footage to prove it. He's being good right now. Right now. She's she's watching me, guys. She's watching me. Because we both hate the Rat King. That's what we bonded over. Okay, guys. So now we have Duff and we have Jess right over here. So, guys, what do you think of the houses? Great. Yeah, they're great. Halloween quality. Sleigh bells. Slay. Camping. Fun. <laughs> Slay. Slay. Terrifying. Krampus. Halloween was already terrifying, but the the Christmas overlay is like ten times more unsettling. It was a lot. <laughs> All right.
Well, great seeing you guys. Can't wait to hear the podcast when you guys review this. Yeah, nice to meet you. And enjoy your night, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we found Marvelous Adventures of TNG again. Yo, what would you think of the trails? So, I, I had a blast. We actually went through them twice, just so that we can get different uh, kind of you know, perceptions from it, you know? Uh, but, Phenomenal. Yeah, Phenomenal. Really, really, I'm kind of disappointed there wasn't a third one, because... Yeah, I really wanted to. I want more. I want it more. Was, That's it was what, yeah. So good. I know. So much detail. Loved yeah. it. Absolutely loved it. So, uh, thumbs up all the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, how would you rank them out of like five? Out of five. That's a good. So, I think I like sleigh bells the best. Yeah. Okay. So one out of five. What would you give it? Um, I give it five. I give, give it five. And then I'd probably give it. Uh, this one uh, a four only because like it was more theatrical and I didn't have as many jump scares but it still scared the crap out of me. Yeah. yeah. See now I would give Krampus not a five. Really? It was absolutely gorgeous. No, well it's very beautiful. Beautiful for sure. Yeah. For spooky people like me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So good. Alright. Well thanks so much guys. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of the night. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Alright guys. So we just picked up the throwing stars, which they also have, in addition to the axes that Liz is holding. And now they're not, they are not real, they are foam, as you guys can see. So you take, take two of the axes. Yep. So you and take two the, axes and two stars. Yep. And the boards, they're kind of like, what would you Darts. say, dartboards? Dartboards, dart pretty much. Yeah, so they're kid friendly too. So yeah. if you bring your kid here, yeah, they can, they can yeah, safely like, handle these. Not, that, that doesn't hurt. If you got enough, it would, but yeah. No, no blood. I'm used to Go ahead. I'm used to doing real action, so. Well, let's see how well you do. Oh, <laughs> Come on. There you go, you got one in the black. Now, if you question, do you know how to throw those? Oh, yeah, you gotta. So hold on, you gotta keep it up there. My turn. Keep your one axe in there so we know that, so we can compare. My turn. Let's see how well I do. Now, keep in mind, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna be very, very bad. If you want up me in this, I'm, I'm gonna. You owe me a drink. Although, I think my axe went closer to the center than yours, so technically I win. Alright you guys, so that's going to do it for us here at Sir Henry's Haunted Christmas event. Here at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. Guys, this event was so fun. I want to thank Sir Henry's for inviting us out for media night. The event will be open on the weekends of the 9th through the 11th and the 16th through the 18th. Go on their website down in the description below to find out those dates. Get your tickets. And guys, please come to this event. This event is monsters, so fun. It is so amazing. The monsters are so cool. They're so much fun to interact with. It, it's amazing, the you guys. The makeup and all of that is... It's, it's so top notch. And from a theater kid, trust me, that that, makeup, yeah. that comment holds a lot of berry. Yeah, their, their makeup and everything, their, all the effects and everything looked so well done. Yeah. I highly recommend it. Oh yeah, this will not be the last time that I, and probably Liz as well, come to Sir Henry's. Because they do seasonal events throughout the year. They do Valentine's, and obviously they have their Halloween season. So this is probably not the last time we'll be here. But Maybe. anyway, <laughs> we love you guys. You're awesome. Go check out this channel in the description. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, guys. Bye.